So as it would happen, the parts that I ordered for this, the motors and all that good stuff, are on back order. So apparently we're not going to be messing with the CNC plasma table for at least a little while. But we have other stuff that we can be doing. That's right, this is a piece of grade 5 titanium. And you might be asking me, why did you get a small piece of titanium that you can barely cut? Well, the answer is, it's expensive. And I just want to do some test cuts, just to see if this thing can handle it. From this, we are going to make a dog tag. Like, not a dog tag for a dog, but just a dog tag, like a military dog tag. And I'm just going to engrave my, the logo into it. That's all we're going to do. And we're going to do the super glue trick. Imagine that. And I didn't really know any good way to hold this, and it's a really good way to really test the super glue trick and just to see how much crap that the super glue can take before it actually breaks. And I'm going to be using a quarter inch end mill on this one, so nothing too heavy and hardcore. I think I'll get down to an eighth inch end mill to clean everything up. So, not too bad. I'm going to cut this thing out on the bandsaw and then we'll put it to the test. That literally just cut through there like butter. I mean, it's a small piece, but geez, I didn't think it was going to crank through that fast. So here we are once again with the electrical tape. And still, that's just what I have on hand, so I'm going to continue to use it. Another really quick wipe off here. So the piece is on there, and I tried to get it centered up with the edge of the stock, edge of this aluminum stock, just because I'm using this, this is one inch wide this way, and I'm using that whole piece, this is so it's not going to really be cut. So I wanted to be able to indicate that as best I could, it's not a big deal, it's good enough for what I'm trying to do, which is just cut titanium. Well, it held up for a little bit and then it decided to just go and it happened right at, well, actually right exactly where it's at and just pulled up the tape and, and that was it. So I f sort of figured that might happen on around the edge like that just because it's you're so far off in one corner that it's the stress just pulls it right up. So I'm going to call a mulligan on this one here and just restart from the beginning and just put it in the jaws like regular. So I guess we found out what the super glue trick and the tape trick can really withstand. I mean, I might do a little bit better with something other than electrical tape. Oh well, not a big deal. We know what it can handle now. Take a look at that finish there on the outside. I think you can see it fairly well. It looks really good for the type of material it is. It just cleans up really nice. So this whole piece is, is supposed to be an inch wide and it's a little bit oversized so that's why I got these little humps here. I got them on both sides but that's okay. It just looks really nice. And there it is, the first titanium piece I have ever done. It didn't turn out too bad, so I'll probably put that on my keychain or something, I don't know. I mean, it took a fairly long time. I was going pretty conservative at 15 thousandths width of cut, 
going about 15 inches a minute at 3,000 RPM. And you saw that I put it in the, the low gear. Uh, and that just gave it a little bit more, more torque so it could cut through this hard metal. Now this material is probably right around 30 on the Rockwell C scale. And that's fairly hard. It's the hardest thing I've done. Now this is a fairly light material. It's not very dense. Like, it's a lot less dense than, say, brass or copper or anything like that. Feels almost as light as aluminum. So this is right around 4.5 grams per centimeter cubed on um, density. And aluminum is 2.7 grams per centimeter cubed. So that, just, the lightness of it just gives you, just makes you think that you can just crank it out. And when in fact you cannot because it's hard as a diamond and an ice storm. I mean, you can really see why that you would use this type of thing on a space shuttle or any type of aerospace type thing. I mean, it's strong as an ox, but still light as a feather. I mean, it's really the, the coolest material that I've seen so far, just because how light it is and how, how hard it is and how strong it is. I mean, it's fairly impressive how the, the material, I, I don't know, it's just really cool. And if you ever come across any titanium, just check it out because it's really cool. But I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.